How you guys doing? Mark Franks here. So it's that time of the year again, guys, where I get to review what's in my tech bag. So this is what's in my tech bag, 2023 summer edition. I meant to get this done earlier this year, but I was just a little bit too busy. So I'm going to go ahead and knock it out now. Guys, so I've added a couple of things. I've taken a few things out. And I just kind of want to show you guys what I'm sporting this year, uh, what's in my tech bag. And hopefully you guys can get some inspiration and probably want to purchase some of these products here. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so before we get into what's in my tech bag, I want to go over the bag itself. So this is a Michael Kors bag. I've had this for about three or four years. You can kind of see the wear and tear. But despite the wear and tear, guys, I still get a lot of compliments. I, I get a lot of compliments with this bag, and it's still it's my every, everyday carry, guys. Uh, let's just go over some of the pockets before I even look at the aesthetics, guys. The aesthetics just still looks good. So I have the pockets on the side. It says like little Michael Kors inside here. It has a bunch of uh, Michael Kors words inside here. Uh, we have the laptop case here. You can actually button it in. So you can put like a 13 inch laptop in here or a, a tablet, it'll fit just fine. You have a little zipper, you put some more little smaller devices here. Now on the other side, guys, you have a space where you can put your phone, if you can see that, you can put your phone on this side. I have my mouse here. I have my Arc mouse here, guys. And I just put, kind of put it right there. Uh, but other than that, it has a, a little side zipper here and I have some headphones here, I believe. Like some old school headphones here. Do we still use these? I don't know. So here's some old school headphones and how it looks guys, it's a good looking bag. I mean, the aesthetics are great. I love that little black and gray look to it. it has micro cores, has big MKs all over it. It's an all around great bag, three or four years, still get compliments on this. Now I'll put this down in the description below, but I'm gonna be honest guys, I'm pretty sure they're not selling this version anymore. So I'll put a newer version down below. I'll put that in the description. But before we get into what's in my tech bag, I just wanna go over the bag itself. Let's go ahead and get started guys. So the first thing that's in my tech bag is my Q35 Soundcore noise canceling headphones. Now I've had these about a year and a half. There's some very nice headphones. I believe I got these for about $100. I'll put the price up above. Um, but these are great headphones. I can, I can put them over my head for about an for about, uh, hour and a half, two hours. It, st it still feels comfortable. It has like a little, I think it's like gel here that it just feels real comfortable. They don't hurt at all. Uh, you get up to 40 hours of playback time when you're playing. So these things just work forever, <laughs> up to 40 hours. I think uh, five minutes of charging will give you four hours. So if you're in a rush, you need to charge real fast. Five minutes, you have four hours. So I would just take these anywhere with me. Um, uh, other than that, they have, you can also talk on the phone. It has an excellent microphone. So if someone calls you, you can just answer it from, from your Q35s and you'll have a, a very clear, very uh, clear and crisp uh, phone call. So I do like that. That's within my, um, that's the first item that's in my tech bag, guys. These are Old Faithfuls. I'll put these down in the link below. All right, so the second item that's in my tech bag is, I believe I'm saying this right, the Landluck. A land, that's the company's name, Landluck Power Bank. It's a very popular power bank on Amazon. Now, I've had my other power bank. My other power bank was a little bit smaller. It did have USB-C, but it was 10,000 milliamp hours. So I, I, I told you guys, I believe I told you guys in the last video that I want to get a larger one. So I went ahead and got one. This is 25,000 milliamp hour uh, battery capacity. So it can charge, it can charge your iPhone up to five to seven times. It can charge your Samsung phone up to uh, five times and it can charge an iPad up to about two, almost three times, guys. So this is very useful, especially when you're always traveling and you're out and about, guys, you have a nice little power bank. This power bank, I think it's probably about five inches by three inches, maybe not quite three, but five by uh, three inches. Uh, it has a USB uh, five volt, two amp USB so that's the this is gonna be the faster port 5 volt 2 amps gonna be about 10 watts so you, you're, you're, you're gonna want to choose this port here and then you have a 5 volt 1 amps gonna be about 5 watts charging here so you have 10 watts charging and 5 watt charging and this is just to uh, this is just to charge the device itself now I didn't see how long it takes to charge this thing but I think it takes maybe about three to five hours. If I find out the charging time, I'll put it on the screen above. But this is the second item 
that's in my tech bag, guys. You gotta have this, you gotta have it. All right, so the third item that's in my tech bag is my Microsoft Surface 7 Plus. Guys, I, I still love this laptop, but sadly, I had to change it out. This is Old Faithful, it's just a two-in-one, guys. I mean, if you're looking for Surface Pros or just, just uh, a Windows laptop, I would definitely go for this one. You can take the keyboard off and then you have an instant tablet and you can actually write the pen on here. I'm using the, I have two pens here, but this is the Meta pen that I'm using right now. And the writing on here is just great. It's seamless, guys. Uh, it's very accurate. And this is just an all around computer just on the go. So you have your tablet, you have, you, you attach the keyboard and you have a full laptop and then you have your pen guys and you can, you also have a notebook. This is, I believe 12.3 inches uh, from, uh, from diagonals, from screen here, from the tip of the screen to the tip of the screen here, 12.3. This one, this particular one is, I believe is 128 gigabytes uh, capacitive storage and uh, I think eight gigabytes of RAM and uh this is maybe a uh I, you know i don't know the processor maybe a 10 uh 10 processor I, i'll put that on the screen below because uh, i forgot the processor of this thing but it's actually pretty fast uh the only downside to the 7 plus because you know they have the microsoft 7 8 and 9 now the only downside is the battery is not that great so the battery is not that great and I needed something with a little bit more battery power. All right, so let's go ahead and, uh, I'm sorry, not battery power, battery capacity. So let's go ahead and move on to the next item that's in my tech bag. So the next item that's in my tech bag is the M1 MacBook. Now I have it in this case because it kind of scratches really easy because I got this case from Exters. This is a laptop case. I'll put that in the link down below as well. It's a nice little case. It can fit you know, a laptop. Of course, it's a 13 inch laptop. I believe it's 13.3. Uh, it can fit in there pretty easily and you have your things on the side. You can put a mouse in here, you put a couple pins, but it's a nice little uh, laptop sleeve just to protect your laptop. All right, so next guys, I got the 2020, uh, I believe yeah, the 2020 M1 MacBook. I didn't get the M2. I didn't really feel as though I needed to get the M2. And, and I like, as far as the aesthetics, I really like the slim look again, how it goes down and gets a little bit slimmer here. I like that old school uh, framework there. And it's just, oh man, it's just a very good looking computer. So let's get into the specs of the MacBook Air. All right, so this MacBook is sporting a 13 inch retina display. So a very good looking screen, very vibrant guys. Has a 720p uh, camera guys. The Pro, the MacBook Pro has a 1080p, but a 720p cam camera still, is still uh, great quality. If you're, using, uh, if you're using Zoom calls or any type of video programming, it's still, 720 will still get you there, still great quality. Has 256 gigabytes of SSD storage. That's pretty standard. Standard guys, it comes along with at eight gigabytes of RAM. Now I'm kind of in the middle with my video editing. I'm not minor, but I'm not heavy, so eight gigabytes of RAM does well for me, guys. So eight gigabytes of RAM is is pretty is pretty good. Uh, now, lastly, it has that M1 chip. It has the extremely fast chip, making this laptop very quick, uh, very seamless, guys, and uh, very efficient. Now, the reason why I got the MacBook and I kind of left out the Microsoft Surface 7 Plus is because the battery life here is just crazy good. I believe it's up to 18 hours. That's just all day battery life for me. I need that when I'm editing videos. And that's another reason why I got it. My 7 Plus couldn't handle videos but a, Mac, a MacBook M1, this can handle editing videos, guys. I use a program called Shotcut, and this just works a lot, it just works a lot better, a lot smoother on a, a, MacBook, a MacBook Air. So that's why I got this, two reasons, to edit videos, and I got it for the battery, uh, battery capacity. It's all day battery capacity, I believe it's 18 hours of battery, guys. I can just take this out, work on videos, work on anything else, and not be, uh, not be fearful or afraid that my battery will die. So that's my new item in my tech bag, guys. Definitely recommend it. I don't really think there's a need to get the M2, because I don't know the M2 is much of an upgrade, to tell you the truth. This is just a workhorse computer, and I'm glad I got it.
I bought a nine in one basis. This is a USB hub slash USB docking station. So I think everybody needs this. Maybe not as many ports. <laughs> this is a nine in one port, but everybody needs something like this. It's a USB port, especially if you're traveling or especially if you're on the go, you have a laptop. When you pull this out, if you have a laptop, you instantly have a desktop or a desktop workstation, guys. Let's go over some of the ports. So this one has, this is basis, and I'll put this in the link down below. It has a USB-C port, has an HDMI port, HDMI 1, HDMI 2. So you can do dual monitors with this. Now, I don't think you can do dual monitors on the Mac but you can do dual monitors on a Windows computer with, uh, with the HDMI 1 and HDMI 2. Now you have an SD card slot, you have a TF card, a TF reader card slot. Uh, we have a USB 2.0 and you have uh, two USB 3.0s and we have an RJ45 Ethernet jack here guys. So this thing is packed <laughs> with ports, packed with ports guys. So you know your laptop, you know we have my laptop here. It only has two Thunderbolt ports. You know, if I want to add this, I can just put this USB port in here and then instantly, guys, it's on. I have way more ports that I can do. I can extend my monitor. I can add USB ports. I can add microphones. I can add uh, SSD storage to it, guys. So if you are traveling a lot, if you're always uh, commuting, you're going to Starbucks or anything, you need to get work done while you're on the go, a USB hub or a USB docking station is a must. All right, so let's go what's next in my tech bag. The next addition in my tech bag, what I just added this year, and I, I, re I did a recent video of this, this is a Surface Duo. Guys, so I need this, you know, when I'm kind of, when I'm, if I'm at work or if I'm going to a coffee shop, or I'm in Starbucks, and I don't want to, I don't want to take my laptop, or I don't want to take my tablet. I just want to take this if I need to take some quick notes, guys, or if I'm in a bed or something, I'll have the Surface Duo. This is the Surface Duo 1. It was no need for me to get a 2. I'm not using this as a phone. I'm just kind of using this as a digital pocketbook. Guys, and this is great. This is the ultimate multitasker, guys. I could be writing a, a little simple note if you're watching YouTube on this or I can be using Microsoft on this Microsoft Excel and I can be um, surfing the web guys this is the ultimate multitasker uh, device here I would definitely use it as a tablet would not use it as a phone definitely use it as a tablet you can take pictures guys uh, it has a little flashlight it's seamless you can read books books Guys, if you're a Kindle book re reader, this is perfect for reading books. Guys, it opens up like a book. So this is perfect for that. Uh, it has a small footprint. It's not that heavy. You know, it, it, can, it can extend its size. You can close it. I love that it doesn't have a camera bump like the second one has. So it's just seamless. It's just a great multitasker, a multitasking device. And I would highly recommend it. Guys, go ahead and check my other video. I'll, I'll put it here somewhere. Go ahead and check that out, guys, and, uh, and, and see the review on this. But this is what I added to my tech bag for 2023. All right, guys, so the next thing I added to my tech bag was the iPad fifth generation. This is the iPad Air, guys, fifth generation. Now, I know I have the Microsoft Surface 7 Plus. I can use that to write on. I can also use my Surface Duo to write on. But the thing is, guys, when I'm going out and about, I didn't want to take my, um, uh, my new MacBook in my Microsoft Surface. I didn't want to have like two laptops. And, so, and my Surface Duo, sometimes that's just a little bit too small. I want to do a lot of writing. So I needed to get another iPad. So I got an iPad, uh, iPad Air, fifth generation, guys. And this, I love it. The battery's just all day battery life. And I can just write, I do a lot of writing on here. So I can just write for two or three hours. And it's just smooth, guys. Smooth. This is, uh, I believe this is 64 gigabytes uh, of capacity. I got the pin here. Pin is smooth. I put the, uh, uh, this is a, a real nice uh, screen protection. I could have put the screen protection, you know, those screen protections they have where you, it feels like paper, paper-like screen protection, but I was like, no, nah, you know what? I'm okay with writing on the screen. I still want it to look good. I don't want it to, the screen to look dull. 
So I still want the screen to look vibrant and I'm perfectly fine. We're just writing on the screen. So I, I, do, I do love that. But my main reason for getting iPad Air fifth generation is to write. And guys, it's a great multitasker as well. Guys, you can be in the bed. And, um, obviously it doesn't, it weighs a little bit more than the Surface Duo, but I still, I uh, love, uh, love the iPad Air and I still love to use it, all right? All right guys, so the last gadget that I'm sporting in my tech bag for 2023 is the portable SSD. Like I said before guys, I'm editing videos and I'm on the go, so I needed an SSD. So I'm, I'm editing videos straight off the SSD instead of my uh, machine, to kind of save on capacity. Guys, but this thing is rugged. You know, it can fall from two meters and still keep on going. I think it is, I don't know if it's waterproof, but it is water resistant. But it, the speed on here, guys, I believe the, and I'll put the specs on, I believe the speed is 1,050 megabytes per second. Write speed and read speed is 1,000. I'll put the specs on here, but this thing is fast. It can transfer data tremendously fast very 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 useful especially if you're editing video on your macbook so guys um, this is essential to have and this is this is what i added to my tech bag for 2023 all right <clears throat> now the bonus <laughs> now the bonus what i've gotten this summer guys now let me let me all right let me be serious i can't put it in my tech bag did I try to put it in my tech? No, I didn't try to put it in my tech bag, but let me let me get it for you guys. This is what I'm adding to my tech bag this summer. This is a solar generator from Pagron. I just got this not too long ago, guys, and I'm excited. If you are on the go, if you, you know, if you're doing a studio outside, if you if, if you do sports or you do anything like that, or you're going to space, uh, baseball games, camping or anything like that, you need to get you a solar generator. Guys, I bought this from Paycron for like $350, that's it. This has 614 watt hour of battery capacity. That is a lot of battery capacity, guys. You can do a lot with that. You can run your laptop for about eight hours. You can run a CPAP machine for about eight hours, guys. Uh, you can run a small lamp or something for like 47 hours. Uh, guys, this is just a lot. You have a, you have three cores. I'm gonna put this on my shoulder because it's 20 pounds here. It's not a lot you can carry it around, but just 20 pounds is holding it like this can get heavy, uh, guys. But you have three outlets here. This is AC unit, three outlets. You have your cigarette lighter, which is 12 volt. Uh, you have your USB-C, USB-C 100 watts. You have a USB-C uh, 18 watts. You have 18 watts for your regular USB-Cs. Uh, I'm sorry, regular USBs, guys. So we have the, on the side here, we have the input capacity up to, if you have like a 100 watt uh, solar panel, you can plug it into the here. And you have uh, a input of uh, a regular power cord, I'm sorry, a regular outlet power cord, and you can put up to 400 watts of solar panels in here, guys. And that 400 watts of solar panels will charge this thing for about, it'll charge it in about two hours. Two or three hours, it'll charge this thing if you have a good sun with solar panels. That is crazy good. Now, a regular outlet, a regular outlet will charge this thing in about two hours. Now, guys, who needs this? Well, I think every household should get a solar generator. Every household should get one. I'm gonna do a review on it. This is not gonna be the main review here, but every household should have some type of battery backup, guys. It's like I said, a regular light on this. You can just plug a light in. It'll last about uh, 47 hours, guys. Now you get a more, a more high powered light or something like, uh, let's say, uh, you know, a small fridge, small fridge will probably last on this for about five hours. A TV will last, you get a 100 watt TV, is 614 watt hours, 100 watt TV, maybe about five hours. All right, that's enough if there's a storm, if there's an outage, it's enough to, I don't know how many times, I'll, put a, I'll try to put on the screen, I don't know how many times this will recharge your phone, but you will be good to go for days, all right? So if your power goes out, 300, I got this for $350. Uh, on paper on, I think on Amazon now it's like 329 currently. This is not bad for for emergency purposes, guys. All right, so I would definitely recommend this. I added this to my uh, 2023 tech bag, even though I can't fit it in my tech bag. But this is uh, definitely something that I believe every household needs, uh, even if you're on a go, if you're doing a bunch of footage. Uh, let's say by the beach or you're going to the woods or you're going to just do your footage outside just take this with you you can plug your camera in plug your drone in plug your camera lights in and you'll be good to go
All right, guys, so that's what's in my tech bag for 2023. If you think I should add some more gadgets, please leave a comment down below. I think I have enough here, but if you think I should add more, I may be missing some stuff, just let me know. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions about these products, just leave them down below. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if this video will help you out. If you keep on liking, keep on subscribing, I'm going to keep on sending these video, videos out for you guys. I really want to help you guys out in the tech world today. But until then, guys, you have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one.